The mid-range price segment has a variety of smartphone options, so much so that it can get quite confusing to get your perfect smartphone. And when I say mid-range price segment, that itself is quite vast. Uh, the range starts from say 25,000 rupees and goes uh, all the way till 30 to 40,000 rupees. In that case, if performance and endurance are two of your key selling points, which smartphone should you choose? Well, three price segments, sub 25,000 rupees, sub 30,000 rupees, and sub 35,000 rupees. And I've got three of the newest and probably the best offerings from each of these segments. Hello everyone, I'm Aniyah of Fiber by India Today and this is the three-way battery drain test comparison between the sub 25,000 rupees device that is the Vivo T3 Pro versus the sub 30,000 rupees device that is the OnePlus Nord 4 versus the Honor 200 that is the sub 35,000 rupees device. With that said, let's get started. First up, the head-to-head -head key highlights of all three phones on your screens right now. So as you can see, while all three phones have nice and vibrant 120Hz screens, it is the Vivo that is the most affordable of the lot that has the higher peak brightness. However, coming to the Nord 4, it offers the most premium in-hand feel thanks to the metal unibody design. Additionally, the Nord 4 also has longer software support along with having the better chipset than the other two phones in this comparison. As for the Honor 200, for the more price, the camera hardware on it is definitely the better one versus the rest. But what about the actual performance? Finally, it is only the Honor 200 that has a relatively smaller battery at 5200 mAh while both the Vivo and Nord have 5500 mAh batteries each. So as always, we kick off by booting all the three devices on the table and all of these have dark mode enabled and are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The brightness and audio are set at 50%, Vivid color profile is set on all phones, 120Hz mode is enabled and of course, uh, the batteries are 100% charged. So we kick off. Uh, with the YouTube video play background as I also tell you a bit about all the three displays here. So without a doubt, the most pricey phone on the table has the better looking panel out of them all. That is the Honor 200. Now a device doesn't always have to be costly to have the better features. For instance, if I have to give the second best display on the table, I think the Vivo T3 Pro's display is better looking and brighter than that of the Nord 4, which by the way starts at 5,000 rupees more than the Vivo. But of course, the Nord 4 has a flat display which does deal with missed touches better as opposed to Vivo's curved panel. But overall, I think the quad curved screen of the Honor 200, which is more like a 2.5D curved screen, has the best blend of curves and flat. Plus, when we talk about brightness too, all phones should suffice in both indoor and outdoor conditions mostly. However, truth be told, the Honor 200's display and Vivo's displays are surely brighter than the Nord 4's. As a matter of fact, Honor 200's display will definitely appeal to those who love their screen punchy and vibrant. That said, the Vivo T3 Pro strikes the perfect balance here because one, the display is nice and bright and does the job. Plus, again, the T3 Pro is the most affordable of the lot. So, which one do you think looks better here? And with that, we are done with the two hours of YouTube video playback. And uh, just like that, the most affordable phone on the table, uh, that is the Vivo T3 Pro. This one has taken the lead with 96% battery left. In the second place uh, is uh, this one, the Nord 4 with 90% battery left while the Honor 200 is now left with 87% battery. With that, it is now time to run an hour of 1080p video recording. And while all three phones are at it, here's a look at the camera specifications. So the Vivo T3 Pro has a dual rear camera setup featuring a 50 megapixel primary camera and 8 megapixel ultra wide camera along with a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. Video recording is capped at 4K 30fps from the rear camera and 1080p 30fps from the front camera. The OnePlus Nord 4 also has a dual rear camera setup featuring a 50 megapixel primary camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera along with a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. Video recording is capped at 4K 60fps from the rear camera and 1080p 30fps from the front camera. Finally, the Honor 200 comes with a triple rear camera setup featuring a 50 megapixel primary lens, a 50 megapixel telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens along with a 50 megapixel front camera for selfies. Video recording is capped at 4K 30fps for both the front and rear shooters. So here are some of the photos I took from all three phones on your screens right now. And one thing is clear, the Honor 200 surely has a superior camera performance here. But again, 
for their respective prices, the Nord 4 and especially the Vivo T3 Pro for a phone that starts at about 25,000 rupees is definitely showing that it can go head to head with the heavyweights. Rest, which phone do you think has taken the better shots? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that, we're done with the video recording round as well. And with that, Vivo is still maintaining its lead with 83% battery left. The Nord 4 is left with 81% battery, while uh, the Honor 200 is trailing with 71% battery left. Alrighty, it is now time to run some benchmarks to get an idea if both phones are put under heavy loads in the real world, which one is going to give the better endurance. So first up, the specs. The Vivo T3 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chip paired with 8 GB LPDDR4X RAM standard and up to 256GB UFS 2.2 storage. Next up, the OnePlus Nord 4 is powered by the more powerful uh, Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 SoC coupled with up to 12GB LPDDR5X RAM and a choice between either 128GB UFS 3.1 or 256GB of faster UFS 4.0 storage. Finally, the Honor 200, just like the Vivo phone, is also powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chip, paired with up to 12GB LPDDR4X RAM and up to 512GB UFS 3.1 storage. Testing the raw compute power in Geekbench 6 and uh, the Note 4 with its Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3 chip easily pulls up ahead of both the Honor 200 and the Vivo T3 Pro powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chip. Although Vivo's uh, scores uh, do look fine for its price, but I can't say the same for Honor. Similarly, in Anthu 2 as well, the Nord 4 takes a good lead of about 350,000 over the Honor 200 and the Vivo T3 Pro. And then moving on to the 3D Mark gaming benchmark, and while the Vivo and Honor 200 do score a much better stability, the Nord 4 shows that it does have the better FPS range. Finally, in the CPU throttle test, after all the torture in the previous three benchmarks, while I thought the Nord 4 would come out on top, it was the Vivo T3 Pro that had a better stability over the others. So here are the benchmark scores of all the three phones on your screens right now. You can pause and take a look. So a little over four hours have passed in the testing and the Vivo T3 Pro is still in the lead with 64% battery left while uh, the Nord 4 is in second place. This one is left with 55% battery and the Honor 200 is left with 50% battery. All right, on to the gaming bit. And when we talk about performance on a whole, just like how the benchmarks show, the Nord 4 not only has the raw hardware, but in terms of pure performance, the Nord 4 is pretty smooth than all, and specifically when it comes to gaming. And if you enjoy games such as BGMI and Call of Duty Mobile at the best FPS settings, the Nord 4 is your best bet. However, for more money, the Honor 200 should have had a more powerful chipset because while the performance is good, the phone's pricing just doesn't doesn't go with it. And so comes uh, the Vivo T3 Pro. I think despite the slower RAM and storage standard, I think for most folks when they use this phone in the real world, for the overall performance, if you are not a hardcore gamer, I think the Vivo T3 Pro provides a good all-around value package. So all right, we're done with the gaming round as well. And once again, uh, the Vivo T3 Pro is still in the lead with 50% battery left, uh, while uh, the Nord 4 is left with 42% battery. And uh, this one is struggling, guys. This one is left with 31% battery. So for the leftover time, I am going to run Instagram Reels on all the phones on the table, but without keeping you waiting until the last minute, let's fast forward to the six hour mark. And with that, the Vivo T3 Pro finishes with 42% battery left. The Nord 4 finishes with 32% battery left while the Honor 200 finishes with 23% battery left. So here's an hour by hour breakdown of the battery drain of all three phones on your screens right now. And so the most affordable phone turned out to be the most efficient and that too by a long shot. In fact, when I look at Honor 200 and Nord 4, I think while the Honor 200 does have a better display and camera performance than the rest, the overall package, including the build quality, the chipset, the software experience, and for its asking price, I would say watch out for this phone during the sales in a couple of months if you are really interested. For now, I think the Nord 4 is a sweet middle spot for its good build quality, good cameras, reliable user experience, and especially the OnePlus brand name. 
However, coming back, I think we have to acknowledge the fact that the Vivo T3 Pro for its price is a solid overall package. The display is nice and bright, the cameras are good and I think for most people out there, if they are really not seeking that true gaming performance, although this one can also run games, again for the asking price of about 25,000 rupees, the Vivo T3 Pro is going to appeal to a lot of folks. Especially by clubbing the bank offers, the price can be brought further down by 3000 rupees and this way the 256GB version of this phone can be scored for a good 23,999 rupees which in no way is a bad deal. Rest, what are your thoughts about uh, this battery drain test comparison? Let me know everything in the comments and as always for all the latest in tech stay tuned to Fiber. I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.